What's up? It's Chom Time coming back at you live now for another Chom Time restaurant review. All right, so hit me out. There's a restaurant in Greensboro off of Wendover, North Carolina that is said to have some of the best brunch, lunch, and protein bowls ever. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before we get started, I gotta call cap on all that. See, that word ever just hits a little different. I've heard absolutely nothing about this restaurant until a couple days ago, so I feel like the word ever is a bit of a stretch. But you know, I'm not gonna prejudge, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and try it out for you guys so we can both judge and see how this food really is. Whether this restaurant has the best brunch or what, they have a lot of unique and creative dishes, and they've won a bunch of rewards now. So I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm feeling a little tingly inside, I'm very excited. So today's takeout review comes from... Yep, watch first. No, wait! First watch, that's 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 my fault. All right, y'all, so I had a pretty productive workout this morning, so I decided to get the pesto chicken quinoa bowl. Go ahead and show it to you guys first before I dive in. Now, this pesto chicken bowl costs a whopping $10.39, and it comes with a piece of bread. That's pretty unique, man. Let's just go ahead and dive into this. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So there's a lot going on up in this bowl right here. So we got quinoa, kale, shredded carrots, house roast tomatoes, topped with grilled all natural lemon, chicken breast, basil, pesto sauce, feta crumbles, and fresh herbs. So I gotta say, man, this is a nice blend, especially with the quinoa. Joaquin. Shout out to people that watch the progressive commercials. You probably caught that. So I like this bowl for the most part. I will say they could have gave me a little bit more chicken. They gave me a lot of quinoa. They could have gave me more kale, and they could have gave me pesto. I feel like the guy that made this or Gerald that made this. This bowl just forgot to put the pesto on here because there is not a lick and I mean a lick of pesto on this thing. This is just strictly a chicken quinoa bowl. I'm keeping a bam too. That ain't lemon pepper chicken either. That's just regular smeggler chicken. But what's that stands out about this right here is man, this this is definitely packed with a lot of flavor. And this has 640 calories with 30 grams of protein, 38 grams of fat, and 48 carbs. This right here can get your day going, man. But you know, I gotta say, man. It's, it's, it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get us seven. Next we got the, uh, if, if I'm saying this right, the Chicky Changa. Chicky Changa, Chicky Changa. This dish costs $11.19 and it has whipped eggs with spicy all natural white meat, chicken, chorizo, green chilies, cheddar, minor jack, onions, avocado, rolled and flour tortilla, topped with Veracruz sauce and sour cream, served with fresh fruit and fresh seasoned potatoes. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on. This right here must be the Veracruz sauce, so we're gonna toss this on there real quick. Uh, uh, uh. And we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up, or at least we're gonna try to pick it up. Looks like this thing is half rope. Uh, and this thing is a mess, y'all. Whatever. Mmm. Okay. That look weird, yo. I think I need to get one more bite so I can properly assess this chicky chonga sandwich. So give me just a second. I got it. All right, so there's a lot more going on than I thought. There's a lot of meat in this chicky chonga. So I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you like chorizo, you'll love this right here because it is a heavy, and I mean a heavy presence of chorizo up in here. Couldn't really taste the onions, couldn't really taste the egg, and they said it's rolled in a flour tortilla. This just looks like a regular omelet. Oh, no, it is a flour tortilla, sorry. I think what did it for this thing, what gave me the uh, it did look kind of weird on my hands, but, but when I tried it, it gave it that extra kick of flavor. Not saying that it needed it, because the chorizo, they just, put a lot of trees over in this right here. The very crude was a nice thing to add on top of this to enhance the flavor a little bit. Also, if I'm not mistaken, this says that it comes with fresh fruit and got no daggone fruit up in here. First watch, man. Y'all slipping. First y'all ain't give me the pesto and the chicken. Now y'all ain't give me my fresh fruit now. I mean, what 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 the hell is going on here, man? I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all an eight on this right here. Ladies and gentlemen, last but most certainly not least, this is the biscuits with not only gravy, turkey sausage gravy. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I've had regular sausage gravy, but not turkey sausage, but I'm assuming that I probably can't tell the difference. It's probably all the same. But let's go ahead and set this right here. Oh, looks like the biscuits are a little overcooked. Just so y'all can see all that right there. And it's crazy because I specifically asked for a light biscuit. But you know, it is what it is. This right here must be the, ooh. That right there is that good old turkey sausage gravy now. It look pretty good, don't it? This right here cost me a whopping $10.79. I mean, which is not bad for biscuits and gravy. I mean, it's pretty average. Go ahead and throw that on now. Basically, this bowl right here comes with eggs, potatoes, and of course, the biscuits and sausage gravy. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this right now. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me try another piece. This time I'm gonna put a little bit of eggs on there and potatoes and sausage gravy. Mm. And then we're gonna go in for the kill. Oh yeah, busting on so many levels. All right, y'all, let me finish right here. Hold on. Mm. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now. If you like biscuits, bready biscuits like me, you'll definitely like that. Although the biscuit was overcooked, the other half of it was very bready and thick, which that's what daddy likes. Also, when I poured the turkey sausage gravy on the biscuit, it took it to a whole nother level. I don't know what they did right here, but I can eat this plain all day. Now, it is a little bit peppery, you know what I'm saying? It's a little peppery if you don't like peppery gravy. It's definitely manageable, because I'll tell you, man, right now, this turkey sauce gravy right here make you want to hurt somebody. I am one of the biggest fans when it comes to biscuits and gravy and freaking wings. Although the biscuit was overcooked, which I do not know why they did that because I specifically asked for a soft like biscuit. I'm gonna give y'all a pass, man. And I think what I like about the sausage gravy is too is that it's not like creamy. It is a little bit on the thick side, which again, I love it thick. Some people make the sausage gravy overly thick, which it just puts a big damper on the whole dish. But this right here is kind of like that creamy and thickness, that kind of in between joint right there. This right here is definitely busting. I'm sure if you try this, you will be amazed. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nine. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for the experience. All right, so first off, it took my foot a little bit over 20 minutes to come out. I gotta say, I'm very impressed because this place was perfect. Secondly, we gotta give it up to management, man. I gotta give a special shout out to management. I'ma tell you why. There was a lot of sisters, and I mean a lot of sisters that's working up in there. If you're not familiar with the word sisters, a lot of black women. And they were fine too. They were in there doing their thug dizzle. They was in there working. They had great energy. And I gotta say, I appreciate y'all. So again, management, you did a good job of hiring a lot of black, beautiful women. Keep that shit up. The inside is bar themed from the little lights hanging from the ceiling, from the freaking flower pots on the wall, from the little hanging thing on top of the ceiling. I don't know what that is. From the barn pictures on the wall all the way to you represent my city, Greensboro, North Carolina, everything looked good in barn theme. Last but not least, there was a bucket up front. It was like a lost and found bucket filled with umbrellas. I'm here to tell you right now, if you miss your umbrella, go to First Watch and get it because I'm trying to tell you right now. Brother like me, when it's raining outside, I'll be the first one to go up in there, cop me an umbrella, and leave like ain't nothing happened. So if you miss an umbrella, you might want to go in there and pick it up before I do. And also, some of the people in there were wearing gloves to crack down on the COVID spread and the germ spread. I appreciate that. See, that shows me that not only that you care about yourself, you care about me too. And that just makes me so freaking emotional. <gasps> okay, let's carry on. Also want to give a special shout out to two people that helped me out in there today. The first person was Aaliyah. The second one was Jemiah. Jemiah, okay, her energy was off the chain, straight popping. And then all of a sudden, oh, interception. And here comes Aaliyah. Aaliyah came over, took over, showed me her favorites, showed me what she liked, told me the fan favorite, and was like, uh, you need to get that. Bam. And I was like, ooh, okay. And also, Leah had someone beside her. I'm not sure if she was her first day or first week or what. But if you're watching this video, good luck to you. Good job. And Leah and Jemiah are the people that you need to be sitting up. Now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get to the dislikes. I'm going to be the first to say, if you're going to this restaurant, if you've never been here before, it is super congested. And the tables are like right beside each other, right? I mean, at some tables, it was really hard for you to even get out without your ass hitting the other person in the face. So yeah, I think you guys should look into that because COVID is still here now. You don't want people farting other people people's faces and shit. Now, I'm not sure what it was, but when I walked in, I looked to the right behind the desk. It was a pile of boxes just sitting there chilling. I mean, it was like 10 boxes. Then when I looked at it again about 10 minutes later, someone took and threw a cover over the boxes as if it was going to hide the boxes from being there. Yeah, like, that that just looked really tacky to me. You understand y'all busy, you know what I'm saying? I understand y'all working. I understand y'all guys to do. But I'm gonna need y'all to move them boxes, man. And last but not least, when I put my arm on the ledge of the register, it did look a little dirty. It looked like somebody spilled some coffee right there and somebody was too lazy to clean it up. But, you know what I'm saying? It was busy in there. That could have just happened that day or this morning. And I'm gonna give y'all a pass on that because like I said, y'all were in there working, man. I'm here to tell y'all, man, if y'all don't believe me, man, y'all need to go to First Watch on Windows. It was a bunch of women in there holding it down. Also, not to mention, they had a 97.0 sanitation score. 
Good job! Is this restaurant worth coming to? So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a yes. Although I don't have no pesto on my chicken, no fresh fruit, I will say you should definitely come here and try it out. If you're into brunch, if you're into lunch, if you're into power bowls, if you're into good protein, if you're into good biscuits and turkey sausage gravy, you might want to come to this spot and check it out. Now, I ain't gonna say it's the best brunch lunch spot in Greensboro, but it's a good spot to come to, relax, chill, and actually have a good time. Restaurant owners all over the world, we are recovering from a pandemic. If you'd like for me to come to the review at your restaurant, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time, or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. To all my fans that watch me each and every day, every week, that's been supporting me for the past year. <sighs> Thanks for the support, keep supporting me, and until next time, peace.